Paul, a tough game against a very good team this afternoon. Yeah, it was, uh, Darren. Um, full-time team on the back of uh, two games previously, Wednesday night, we, we played really well at the league. That to back it up today, I thought, you know, Josh Johnson, Watts Puara, Jordan Warren, who did nearly 80 minutes uh, on Wednesday, backed up really well, but it's just a big ask for us. Uh, we had to contain them early on, we didn't do that, they got off to two great tries. But I think Bretherton's try was a bit dodgy, to say the least. It was a knock-on for me all day long. Everybody stopped in the ground and and uh, even Bretherton was looking behind and looking at the referee, but he said play on. So, at old adage, you've got to listen to the whistle and, and go with that. But it was a great knock-on for me and just took the sting out of the tail and, and took them away from us after Luke Cresswell's, you know, and, and T. Ritson's spectacular effort from deep inside our own half. Looking forward to next week, Dewsbury, big battle there. Yeah, every every game now to the end of the season is a battle. If you ask Rochester the other day, we took swing to the wire. You know, we've got to go to Dewsbury and they've done really well at York today. And I think Sykes took them into the lead with seconds to go and then York scored a try right on the bell. They took the game over from, from Dewsbury. There's no easy, easy teams in this division and you've got to focus on every game. And if you get beat or win, you've got to focus on the next game. And, you know, like us the last few weeks against Halifax and, 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 and Featherstone, you know, we focused hard on them games. But I think this game was just a, a game too far after two tough games and then and then to land up against a full-time team was always going to be difficult, especially with Jonathan Ford back in the team. I thought he was outstanding today, just spraying the ball all over, never lets the ball die. They've gone from playing rook uh, to playing with shape and, and, and space and, and it made a massive difference to him. You know, when I see him on the team sheet today, I thought, I knew we'd be in a little bit of trouble because he just recognises weaknesses and, and he's not afraid to throw 30 metre passes to get in the spot. So, and we didn't handle it, but the second half we did handle it. I think in the second half, I think it was 12, 12 zip, um, you know, but the game's about 80 minutes. But again, I'm so proud of, of my team for the way they've conducted themselves over these last few weeks and, 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 and for the cause. And I'm sure we'll be there right to the death. Two or three lads seem to pick up knocks this afternoon. Yeah, John O. Smith. Uh, reoccurrence of his knee, we know that he's going to have trouble with that. Uh, again, we left Glenn Riley out today because he's got arthritis in his hip, so he's really struggling with it. And the physio said we've got to manage it. Luke Cresswell, again, we've been told we need to manage him, but he went with a neck and shoulder injury, so we had to put him on the wing uh, today and, and move to, well, second half later on and put to your full back because we didn't want to bust him up. So we'll see how we are Tuesday. We've had a tough week physically. So we'll come in, try and get some pool on on uh, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, and, and do some rehab and build up to what will be a game. But both sides, I think a lot of sides are busted and bruised up at the moment, and it's how you handle that and, and your mindset going into these these games. But I thought the crowd were great today. The Barra crowd never let us down at all. Were brilliant. Let the referee know what they thought of him at times, and I just thought you know they, they kept us going really, and it helped us inspire us to what was a real good second half performance.